classic new wave record at number 28. 80s new wave record at number 28. Boy, I, I haven't heard this record in years. I just listened to the song again on YouTube. And I'm going to tell you, this is the first time I've heard the song in 29 years. <laughs> That's the beauty of doing these fancy playlists. And the fancy it is, you see, when I first started doing the fancy playlist, uh, and particularly the late 70s and early 80s, I, I stick really close to Billboard's Hot 100. I'm still doing that in 1986 based on Billboard's Top 40, but I, I just got a little electric. I just played around with it. I'd, I'd see something on Night Tracks on WTBS, and I'd think, yes, I got to put that on my fancy playlist. And that's what I did with this record, Worlds Apart by Cactus World News. Now, Cactus World News, they're from uh, New, Cactus World News. That's the name of the band. That's what I like about these 80s new wave bands. They reminded me of the 60s garage bands because, you know, in the 60s, they'd come out with these wacky names. And in the 60s, you know, like the Blues Magoos, the Chocolate Watch Band, the Strawberry Alarm Clock, and the same thing was repeated in the 80s, like the Cactus World News. Cactus World News from Dublin, Ireland. And uh, they four-man band. Eon Mac, Mac, Mac... I can't pronounce this guy's name. Eon Mac... Evoy, E-O-I-N, his first name, Coy Eon, I, I can't pronounce his na name, but he's the lead singer of uh, Cactus World News, four-man band, influenced by The Clash, The Ramones, YouTube, uh, well, U2, rather, <laughs> U2, and uh, the, uh, who else, uh, R.E.M., but they do remind me a lot of U2. As a matter of fact, their first single called The Bridge, produced by Bono of U2. And they toured with another band you might remember from the 80s, sort of a hard rock alternative band called The Cult. And they toured with them in 1985 and got a deal with MCA Records. And they came out with the uh, Urban... <laughs> Urban Beach, I believe, is the name of the album. Again, I'm trying to decipher my chicken scratch. I may have to go to the, go back to the uh, website and double check on that name of the album. Just bear with me. Urban Beaches. Urban Beaches was the name of the album they came out with in 1986. It yielded three singles that charted in England. Didn't make top 40. Worlds Apart only got as high as number 58 in England. Of course, that's better than what it did over here. Uh, it it never migrated beyond college radio and never migrated beyond MTV and uh, night tracks on WTBS video show that came on late Friday and Saturday nights back in the 80s, bringing back some memories from Mr. DJ, watching those videos late at night, 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Sure been nice to watch those videos like with a date or something like that. Yeah, that's a cool video by AHA. I like that one by the Simple Minds. Check out that Donna Summer video or the Cactus World News video. Uh, Urban Breathe, allmusic.com. Now, this is a respectable uh, musical source online. As a matter of fact, I get some of my research material from allmusic.com because they do some good biographies of bands. Allmusic.com gave this album, Urban Beach, 4.5 out of 5 rating. Their second album, though, did not do as well. The group sort of fell apart. Uh, 1987, 88, they came out with their second album, and it was called No Shelter, I believe. I got wrote it down on my notes here somewhere, but like I said, you know, this is kind of like reading pig Latin and Japanese at the same time, reading my notes. But the record company shelved it. It was shelved for some reason, and they were released from their record contract. A couple of guys left the band. The original members left the band in 1989. Although several of the members the members reformed back in 2011 to support the Simple Minds. I guess they were on tour or something like that. Uh, but that was in 2011. Well, that's it. That's all I got to say about Cactus World News. <laughs> I love it. Talk about a cross between REM and YouTube. YouTube. Not YouTube. YouTube. Cactus World News. Worlds Apart at number 28, up 6 from 34. Fantasy play. That's it. A fantasy it was of November 29th, 1986.